Hey guys, what's up? Wesley here, and I'm down here on vacation, going back tomorrow in Jacksonville, Florida. I actually didn't go to the Jacksonville Beach, but been having a fun time, and we're actually right here in Jacksonville. Uh, just went to a place called Salt Life, if you've ever heard of it. It's a great seafood place, and I just had this huge shrimp bowl. It was incredible, teriyaki sauce, and um, so I've had a fun time. We went to the beach. Wasn't really crowded. We went to kind of more of a private beach called Ponte Vedra, if you ever heard of that. And um, as you can see, I did get a pretty bad sunburn. Uh, my whole face is red, and uh, my back is red, my stomach is red, my whole leg was red. But that was that was when I went to the pool at my house around my house. It wasn't this trip. So I'm um, overall been having a great time, and I'll, I'll show you the condos We're right here, right by the beach. So if you can see, there's a big condo right there. And uh, that's overlooking the beach. That's not right on the beach, but it's it's about 200 feet away or so. And um, if you can see, it's a college town, really nice. You can't really see too much uh, through these windows, I guess. But um, and uh, yeah, over there is the beach. Uh, if you can see, there's a lot of palm trees, and uh, that way is the beach. We're not too far from it. I haven't been to this beach before, I don't think, but. Yeah, so um, I've had a really fun time, and uh, you know, Florida has some of the best vacation spots, some of the best beaches. It's always fun to go to, even though I put a lot of sunscreen on, I still got sunburned very badly. So um, it does have its pros and cons, of course. Uh, injuries, because the uh, beach I went to had a lot of seashells, my foot's like scratched up, and uh, I like snapped my hand when I fell on it in the water the waves were huge I mean I got pounded by some waves that just that did not sound the greatest but uh yeah uh the wave the waves like they were probably some of them were like five to six feet tall um maybe even higher and one just rammed me and I fell on my face into the sand like it scratched up my face luckily I don't really think scratched up but it, it did like hurt very badly so um just wanted to bring an update about that and another thing is hopefully um, I don't think I brought a video on this yet um, if I did uh, I decided to bring it before this but my wizard did get hacked and deleted by a hacker named blaze winter shard he's a level one ice and I sent an email to King's Owl they're actually looking into it right now investigating and hopefully they can restore my wizard like they have done in the past and get my wizard back and that would be great because I really need that to happen. Um, my wizard right now is gone. They suspended my account just to make sure he doesn't get back in the account. And I am right now forced to play with a noob until they can hopefully restore it. They're also looking to their terms to see if I've given my password out, once, which I haven't. So this guy is a professional hacker. You guys stay away from him, from him. And another thing is, I would go into full detail about this event, but it would take 10 to 15 minutes, a long time about how he hacked, um, what he did, and why he hacked, basically. So, for right now, while I'm making this video, Tristan Amblecaster is gone, but I believe they're going to restore it. If they don't, I'll bring another update. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, and see you guys later. Bye.